Hello, N4H and H here with another video in the series uh, about the FTDX10. And some of you were asking if I would uh, compare it to the FTDX5000. So I have both radios powered up here listening to a QSO on 40 meters. And let's see what we've got going on. I've, uh, att attenuation is off, IPO is on. RF gain is all the way up. So let's switch over to the 5000. Okay, now the digital noise reduction on the 5000, let me show you here, is on 7. I'll lower it to three or two. I'll even I'll lower it to two. Okay, now we'll switch back up to the FTDX 10. Now let's increase the digital noise reduction. Long press. We'll go to algorithm seven. Yeah, I mean, it looked, uh, looked pretty bad. So, uh, like I said, I got it all fixed up and looking good now. So, got that repaired. Now, remember, a bit of and back over to the uh, FTDX 5000. So, anyways, yeah, okay, and we'll go to so yeah, algorithm I'm seven. Filter width now on the 5000 is it? Was it the default 2.4? I'm going to take it up to three. Now back over to the FTDX 10. The filter width is at the default of three. The fox, uh, would eat duck, but, uh, EQ. Oh, anyway. I've got treble set at two. To, There's treble at zero. So you can see with the digital noise reduction set at a, a more aggressive setting, we can restore a little bit of the, the luster to the audio by increasing the treble gain. I've got the base gain at 7. Now remember, if you have the... Uh, let me back out of here. If you have the filter width narrowed way down, you see that's taking away from highs and lows. So that yeah, that sort of defeats your, uh, your audio adjustments you make in here. That will somewhat defeat those because we're boosting highs and lows, but now we're... T via the filter width we're we're ignoring the highs and lows as it were so you're not going to hear the as much of the the settings that you assign for the uh, eq the treble and bass here if you narrow down the if with your width knob so just be aware of that so we'll put the width back up at a full 3,000 hertz, 3 kilohertz. And then back over to the 5,000. Looks like the S meters are uh, reading about the same, I believe. Yes, peaking to a four. Every now and then it flirts with five. Now, I'm going to roll the RF gain back. Like 
Like I say all the time, greatest invention for radio, RFK. Well, I got more copies a little bit more difficult this time. Your signal went up and the noise level kind of gone up at the same time. So now I'm going back over to the uh, FTDX-10. Rolling the RF gain back. Now he's a he's an S7, even with IPO. So that really really uh, helps out with masking the noise floor. I just don't want to hear the noise between syllables. There's, it's not necessary. So again, DNR right now is on a more aggressive setting of seven. Uh, help, which is helping us out with the uh, weaker station. Between the deer and the groundhog and the rabbit and who knows what else. Uh, I just can't keep them going. They, uh, they come and get them. So there's not much I can do about that. The thing is the groundhog uh, likes the deer kind of leaves them alone a little bit. So, um, you know, it's, a, it, it, it's kind of devastating. You do all this work and everything. And, uh, I'm waiting on the weak you know, station to come back in there. So while we do, I'll disable digital noise reduction and let you hear the difference that makes. So that is very good digital noise reduction. I'm going to switch back to the 5,000. Okay, I lowered the digital noise reduction on the 5,000 to algorithm 4. Now, you're, the reason the audio is sounding more full with the 5000 is because of the speakers here external speakers with the ftdx 10 we're listening to the internal speaker that comes you know it's in the radio the ftdx 10 with an external speaker should be really quite good would make a great base station Now we can we could go in here and go to the base gain and max and max it out, you know, to try to compensate for the fact that we're listening through a uh, internal speaker on the radio. Note the uh, the 3D spectrum scope. It's it's much more pleasant to look at when you've uh, dropped the noise floor. I'm gonna increase RF gain. Turn off IPO. We'll go back to amp one. See all that? That's noise. No need to no need to see all that on the 40 meter band. We don't need that level of sensitivity. When you're listening to a rag chew like that, roll that RF gain back and mask out the remainder of the noise. Rule of thumb, match the S meter with uh, the lowest reading, the, the station that's got the lowest signal. Well, look at that. Band conditions changing. He's coming up over S9. 
Okay, so there you have it. My my assessment. Um, well, I tell you what, I'm not gonna say. Uh, comment and let me know which radio you think sounds the best. And again, bear in mind the FTDX10 is using its internal speaker, but. Think of it in terms of noise floor. There's the FTDX 5000. And then back to the FTDX 10. That's a great little radio. Again, we and have the width year, at oh, the default the 3000. Digital the, noise reductions the, set at an aggressive uh, 7. I'm going to lower it down to 4 like it was on the 5000. <laughs> and now, one more time so back anyway, to the 5000. All right, so I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, thank you, Patreons, for helping me keep this channel going. If you want to become a Patreon, I invite you to go to www.patreon.com forward slash n4hnh, patreon.com slash n4hnh, and if you like the video, subscribe. Uh, click the bell. That'll help the channel as well. And if you click the bell, you'll be notified when I upload another video in the series about the FTDX-10 and, uh, well, any other video that I may upload. All right. Thanks a lot. And uh, let me say uh, a, a big 73 to everyone. Thanks for watching. This is N4 H&H. &H.